I'm super excited about that. And I want to take you guys on adventures, like, outside. Yes. Like, it's a yes. around the lake. Yes! I'm It's important that you pay attention to the cut he just made. Seeing all of you hate a snake's love bombing Becky is making me sick. You are all so fake. You all just want her to talk bad about Amberlynn. You all helped K-I-L-L her mom and helped make the last months of Norma's life awful. You're all despicable and you all deserve to be naded. The fact that Zach cut out the part in Becky's vlog where she briefly mentioned her mom in his reaction was gross AF. Then he has the nerve to leave her a supportive comment on her video. Like you could at least apologize or something damn. I don't know how I got so off subject. I don't feel like I'm... <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Okay, that was enough. Yeah, that was enough. It's fine, Bex. You can, you can get off subject, but also remember you can edit that shit out, too. Here's what he cut out of his reaction to Becky's new vlog. It's very important. Mammoth Cave, which is actually the largest cave system in the world. Um, I can take you to Short Creek, which is the shortest creek in the world. And that's actually where my mom and her boyfriend said their commitment vows. Like, um, they, they're not married, but they got married, um, under the eyes of God. I don't know. It's not, I don't know. I'm not judging. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just like, you know, okay. So, they weren't legally married. Um, that's okay, though, you know, because they had been together for quite a while. And he was really good to her. And he's still really good to us. Like, he does everything he can for us. And um, I'm very thankful for that man. I really can honestly say that I view him as my stepfather. Because he really does a lot for everyone. And he's just so sweet and such a kind-hearted person and um <clears throat> i don't know how i got so off subject i don't feel like i'm no you can always use the edit feature of whatever whatever software you're going to use to edit these videos you can always snip 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 okay i know sometimes amberlynn eric other people you've seen vlog don't do that but you sure can, because guess what? I'm going to snip, snip, snip all of that, because I didn't have anything to say about it, okay? Everything you said right before that, snip, 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 I, I have shit to say about it. It's not going in the video. <laughs> it really isn't. Oh, we all know why you have nothing to say about Becky's mom right now. However, Flashback. Zachary Michael made multiple videos calling the GoFundMe a scam, all based upon false info posted on Kiwi Farms. Quick overview. Amber Lynn and Becky went on camera, begged people for money, said, Hi, Becky's mom has cancer. Please, uh, please support her. Please donate to this GoFundMe. It's linked down below. Okay, gr great. I, you know, that's, I think, an okay thing to ask people for. Certainly nobody has to give anybody money if they don't want to. The GoFundMe raised around $3,000, and it's actually, like, if you really search for it, it's still, like, out there on the internet, so you can go find this GoFundMe and see how much they raised. It was, like, $3,063 or something like that.
Look, address Norma. Off the table, sweet love. Norma. Scoochie Boochie. Concealed Knuckles Jack. <sighs> Can't I see really your trophy. Like, Can you show us? Get some fresh air, but it's like <sighs> cold. Listen, I want you to address yeah, the stuff. Victoria Granados, will defector, Deflector Lynn ever address the scam? I hear she maybe mentions it in here. Judy, can you believe I'm not a scammer. Everything I said in that video was exactly told to me. And oh. what you guys heard is what I oh. knew. Oh. Oh. Wait, oh, Judy. Oh, Judy. Oh, <laughs> oh. so she's admitting... I think that that's some admission that the, the GoFundMe was a scam, right? Is what she understood to be the truth. Is what was told to her. What was told to her. So, okay, let's assume that's true. Let's assume that's true. You had so many subscribers, girl. So many subscribers who gave money on your behalf to this fake Go fund me this go fund me scam. I am prepared to talk about in this video is that she responded to a question about the GoFundMe scam. And if you've seen videos over the past like six months from me, I've talked a lot about this. I even throw it in every once in a while when I'm like what kind of, when, when Amber Lynn's asking what kind of content I want to see, I'm usually saying, show me, show me some stuff about the GoFundMe scam. So where the drama comes in, where the, the scam part of the Go, GoFundMe scam comes in is that Norma's husband, Jerry, has an ex-wife and she found her way onto the Kiwi farm. This is the post that people used as proof that Norma was married to Jerry. This post is a lie, knowing what is actually going on around Amber and Becky right now. It is low class and selfish of Amber to be all about Amber while Becky's mom Norma is dying from stage 4 liver cancer. On Mother's Day, one would assume the reason that Amber was upset was because of Norma but nah it was her past history, etc. While, I have my own personal history with Jerry, Norma, and the rest. I would never wish in a million years anyone to go through the pain of what they are going through. No one deserves it and I wish them the best. Below I will post some receipts and one extra and proves that Jerry and Norma are married, thus she is covered by TRICARE, or Jerry is lying to his attorney, my attorney, and the state of Kentucky courts. Norma's husband Jerry uh, was retired from the Navy and thus his health insurance should be covering most of the expenses that Norman- This was posted by Frazzle Cakes who claimed to be the ex-wife of Norma's boyfriend. This was posted on July 19, 2020. This is just my opinion formulated from all my past dealings with Jerry and Norma. So take it all with a grain of salt. At the beginning of April of this year, Jerry owed me the final payment of our divorce agreement. An agreement that highly favored Jerry so much so Jerry and Norma did a victory dance as we left court. Jerry has been behind the whole time. We are supposed to be done with it all but he keeps coming up with bullshit excuses why he can't pay. I now believe he is lying about how bad Norma's cancer is to prevent him from going to jail for contempt of court for non-payment. I don't have the receipts but I saw where a friend of Norma's say something about stage 4 cancer and Norma corrected her saying it wasn't as bad as the friend thought it was. Would Jerry lie to the courts? Hell yes, he would. He has done every time I have taken him to court trying to get payment. Ann Doran posted that Jerry and Norma had to move on Facebook. In the past, Misty has said that they lie to Omi. Honestly, once he pays me what he legally owes me I will never give them another thought. Do I think Norma had breast cancer? Yes, I do. At this point do I think she is dying? No, I don't. Nothing adds up to the fact that she is dying. Again, this person claiming to be Jerry's ex-wife posted on Kiwi Farms on the 19th of July 2020 saying that Norma's cancer wasn't serious. Norma died on the 24th of July 2020 of cancer. Zachary Michael shamed Becky's mother in the last months of her life, all the while profiting from these videos. Now, Becky has her first vlog and before she's even monetized, he's making money off of her too. 
I find it strange how an educated man who works at a college and lives a comfortable life has the ability to profit off poorer people. He tells working class people how much assistance they should be able to receive through charity. How privileged of him. Thank you to Diva Samantha and Michelle Bro on Twitter for pointing this out. We must not forget what they did to Becky's family.